What's up guys, it's Satan, and today we're going to go through how Kanye West's Can't Tell Me Nothing was made. Let's get into the video. As many of you might know, we're celebrating the channel hitting 200,000 subscribers today. So we have four remakes coming out tonight. First one is Can't Tell Me Nothing. Second one is an identical remake of Out West. Third one, Drake's Headlines. And fourth one is No Bystanders by Travis Scott. So come along with me on this journey as we explore all four of these songs. Can't Tell Me Nothing was originally produced by DJ Toomp and Kanye West. We have a bunch of identical samples from the original song to show you guys today. So definitely stay tuned to see what samples Kanye used in this song. These four videos are sponsored by Cymatics. Thanks Thanks so much to them for making these videos possible and they've given us an insane deal today exclusive to my viewers it's their ultimate 808 bundle and as you can see they put an insane discount on it so we have their thunder 808 kit their mayhem premium 808s their goliath 808 collection their lethal 808 samples 808 Essentials and Vortex 808 Enhancer, all for just 25 bucks. So if you're looking to upgrade your 808 game, this is the time to do it. So you have over 300 808 samples just for 25 bucks, an insane deal right now. Go check them out in the description below. Anyway, let's jump into the remake today. Let's start off with these weird synth chords that play throughout the entire song. We're layering two different presets to get this sound. First off, we have this synth sound coming in. Really cool sound from June 6V, and I modified the classic Rode preset. Then we're layering that with this preset from Omnisphere, the Holy of Holies pad, which is a preset that I like to use in my own beats. And that's gonna sound like this. And that's just adding a bit more atmosphere to the sound. So together. Then let's put that on the mixer. We're going to be adding some gross beat for this vibrato effect. Is it vibrato or tremolo? I think it's vibrato. It's going to sound like this. Then we're adding some RC20 retro color, of course. Then we're adding some Ozone 9 imager to widen the sound. Then finally some EQ and fruity phaser. So it's going to sound like this in the end. Then we're layering that with some brass. So all together so far. And as you can see, there is a switch up in the brass. So for this instrument, we're gonna head into Contact and we're gonna be using Session Horns Pro, which is the same preset that I used in my Industry Baby remake. Leave a link to it up there. So for this preset, we're gonna be layering two combinations. So we have a brass trombone, a tenor trombone, and two trumpets. This is what it's gonna sound like without any effects. For effects, we're gonna be adding some RC20. Of course, we're adding it to everything today. For some air distortion, some space reverb, and some magnetic. Then we're gonna be adding some parametric EQ2 just to cut out the lows and slightly reduce this mid-high end. Next up, we have the exact perk sound that was used in the original song. And this plays throughout the entire song. It's this little sound here. This is the Toomp R perk sound from DJ Toomp, which is one of the producers of the song. So that's how you know this is the exact sound. And we're just playing this basic pattern. And I really like the idea of having this sort of crashy perk sound that plays throughout the entire song, like helps people get into the groove. Definitely think I'll be incorporating this sort of stuff into my own beats in the future. And for effects, we're adding a high pass filter and some fruity chorus. Then we have the identical kick sample, which is the Jazz Far Kick 2. And it plays this pattern. Then we come in with this snare, which plays pretty softly in the mix. It's going to sound like this. Then we have this hi-hat coming in as well as this clap. It's gonna sound like this. Then we have this synth bass coming in from Repro One. And that's gonna play this pattern.
What's up guys, it's Aiden from The Next Day. I wanted to add one more part to this instrumental that I think is really important to the song, which is the female vocals from Connie Mitchell. We don't have Connie Mitchell coming in today, but we do have my good friend Dash, who's a female singer, coming in to do the female vocals for us. Hello. Let's do it. Whoa. So, this is the final result. Unfortunately, we couldn't get the Shazam comparison today, but I feel like the instrumental was very close and it sounds really dope. So anyway, that's it for the remake. Uh, we have remake number two. Uh, Jack, I don't want pointing over there, you can't see it. Jack Boys Out West is coming out right now, so stay tuned for that video. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys next time. Oh.